What's up guys, Lucas here. And today I'm gonna to explore how dopamine, the very well-known neurotransmitter may actually increase one's self-awareness. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas. I'm the founder of Ergogenic Health. And my mission is to give you guys the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So today's video is all around self-awareness and the neurotransmitter dopamine. So before I share this particular study, I want to address why self-awareness is absolutely critical for high performance. Um, and I've spoken about this on a few of my podcasts. If you haven't checked out my podcast, search Boost Your Biology podcast. Um, but basically what we're looking at here is why self-awareness is so critical to uh, maintain peak performance. Um, so that's because when we introduce new compounds, new supplements, when we try new training programs, new diets, um, new biohacks and things like that, we really need to first understand our baseline before we can evaluate um, any intervention or any supplement or something. Because really, uh, without understanding how we are at baseline or what our default mode is, operating system is like, then it's difficult to address or determine the efficacy of certain compounds, certain interventions and things like that. So today I'm gonna to look at how dopamine may actually modulate one's self-awareness. Um, and this is why, uh, what I'm gonna do is actually explore why this is so critical um, and also explore some ways to optimized dopamine. Um, so what I'll do is I'll show you this very cool study um, that was titled Making Sense. Dopamine activates conscious self-monitoring through medial prefrontal cortex. Um, so just think about this, guys. Like think about when you are, let's say under the pump, under a lot of stress or you feel like you're about to erupt or you get really angry, that split second of self-awareness to know that you're about to react in a certain way that may be risky, that is all like, that's all about self-monitoring. So if we have, you know, a high degree of um, self-monitoring or self-auditing, or we can really hone in and see um sort of thoughts and, and behaviors before they arise, then this is where, we really start to have control over the way that we um, perform and, and, and function uh, in society. So really this study looks at how um, dopamine can basically stimulate conscious self-monitoring, um, also known as metacognition. Um, so I've highlighted a few, few sections I wanna um, demonstrate. So conscious self-monitoring or metacognition is dependent on self-awareness. Self-awareness comes in two different categories, minimal self-awareness and extended self-awareness. Um, so minimal self-awareness basically is consciousness of one's self as an immediate subject of meaningful experience, unextended in time. Whereas uh, the next type of self-awareness is extended self-awareness, which is basically um, extended in time to include memories of the past and intentions towards the future. Um, so basically uh, this study also showed or demonstrated that um, they provided the first direct evidence that dopamine regulates subjective conscious experience by showing that dopamine stimulation enhances confidence and performance when seeing rapidly presented words. Um, so dopamine is probably the chief hormone that governs confidence and you know self-efficacy. And you can sort of see individuals that have high dopamine, um, I would hope to be myself, because that's what I try and optimize. And I, you know, try and uh I'm always trying to push the boundaries with the uh, dopaminergic stimulation. Um so basically individuals with this you know high dopamine, yes, they may possess schizophrenic like symptoms, but 
um, within reason and with balance, glutamate and other neurotransmitters, then individuals with high dopamine are very confident. They don't hold back. They chase their goals. They are motivated. Um, so I'll scroll down to the other section of this study that looked at um, other interesting findings. So they also said that dopamine has consistently been shown to improve working memory. Now this would be alongside sufficient acetylcholine levels. Um, and the other point to note is that dopamine improved the prediction by subjective awareness of objective performance in an online task with minimal self-awareness. Dopamine also enhanced extended self-awareness with introspection concomitant with stimulation of the anterior cingulate prefrontal cortex, a process which seems to be tightly linked to incentive stimulation and reward. Um, so guys, if you want to learn about how to boost dopamine, I've made a few videos already looking at how we can improve dopamine signaling and function, improve dopamine receptors through nootropics. There's a, there'll be a link to my nootropics masterclass, which goes through various ways to boost dopamine. Um, check out the videos on my channel where I explore other dopamine boosting agents. Um, check out the links in my video description as well for um, my website, which, which I basically have a host of amazing dopaminergic um, boosters. So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please like the video, share the video, leave a comment. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.